In this video, you learn everything that there is to know about our table of contents feature, how to add it, how to edit it, and how it can benefit your readers. Let's get started. Let's say that you've created a large flipbook, and now you want to add a table of contents inside of it. First, the process is slightly different depending on whether you created a flipbook through a PDF upload or from scratch. If you have a PDF that already contains a table of contents, then make sure it's properly formatted before you upload it into Flipsnack. Otherwise, you will have to manually create each chapter and subchapter. If you want to learn more about formatting a table of contents, then check the link down in the description. Once you have uploaded your PDF, you will be redirected to the Customize page. Now, if your PDF file includes a well-formatted table of contents, it will be visible in the Flipbook's navigation bar. However, if the table of contents is missing or it's not properly formatted, then this option will be unavailable in the navigation bar. In either case, you can access it by clicking the table of contents on the left. If you have created a Flipbook from scratch, you can add a table of contents from the Customize page. Now, what if you want to modify your table of contents? Whether you've created your flipbook from scratch or uploaded a PDF, the process remains the same. Let me show you different ways to do this. While on the main dashboard, click the Customize button for your flipbook. If you are in the Design Studio, the Customize button is at the top. Once you access the Table of Contents menu, you can modify, remove, or add new chapters or subchapters. The Activate Table of Contents checkbox is on by default but you can enable or disable at any time. What if you want to rearrange the pages of your flipbook? Well, it's easy. Let me show you. For example, let's say that you've added a new chapter on page 5. You move the pages around and now page 5 is page 3. The chapter you have added on page 5 will now show up on page 3 because chapters are associated with the page you added to, not with the page number. What happens if you delete a page containing a chapter or a subchapter? In this case, the chapter or subchapter will still appear in the table of contents, but clicking it will take you to the first page. You can now either delete it from the table of contents or assign it to a different page. And that's about it. Your flipbook is now easier to navigate and your readers have a clear overview of the publication's content. All that remains now is to share it with your audience.